I have 30 pounds and I'm going to Maidstone. <laughs> Last four six five nine oh one. I've never ever seen a class four six five go this fast before. Eurostar thing. Filming up. I don't need to, but just... Town centre. I was here a couple of weeks ago. I took a later train then, the front of this train. And there we go around Street Church. Not just a castle and cathedral in the distance. You can see the bridges if you look closely. Too much vegetation, it's hard to see the view. Chatham Dockyard. Food station in the dockyard. Stay with this side. Street market car park. If you see anything suspicious, please report it to a member of staff or the police. And this is the industrial area. The lift here is a stupid stunner. Subway, which is outside the station. Weird old oh, okay. Rochester. This is this is what's regarded as a tourist station, and Dickens Country is what they're trying to get as a colloquial name for Medway, but it's not working. And we have pianos, and we have the automatic door, which doesn't work. So they want people to go through the barriers. Right. Let's go back upstairs.
Glasgow 65. And that is Rochester. This is what Rochester looks like. Here, you can see that they've lowered the cathedral's roof height from the mark on the tower where the old roof height was. I have actually forgotten what the number of the high speed train class is. This is very slow opening. And now on to Maidstone. This is the Broadway Centre, which has no lifts and is very boring. I went to the riverbank. And now on to All Saints Church. I came on Civic Day, a sort of Maidstonian dripping the colour. There was a special service on at the church. The service had an excellent organist. There were also lots of soldiers in the church. Here are many of them exiting the church. And here is a museum. I didn't go in because it had an admission fee. And here is the Royal Star Arcade. The lift here... There's a Pickering that has it been modernised. First floor, doors closing. It's got a basement. Doors closing. It's a Pickerings. It's got, it's, it seems like a, it's got the distinctive Pickerings lift smell. Yeah, there's this distinctive smell that Pickering's lifts have, and I don't know why. I think it's going to be that side. Doors opening. Uh, Basement. Okay. Doors. This is a Turin arcade. I like Turin arcades. And this is the Victoria Memorial. And now on to Nat West. Nat West has an old modified swing door lift, but it's broken. HSBC has a really fast hydraulic lift because it's illegal to go to the basement. to swipe your swipe card to go to the basement. This lift is a hydraulic lift, but it's a really good fast hydraulic lift. This hydraulic lift is amazingly fast. Don't tell me. I'm not supposed to tell me. I, I can't know it is. I just input it. Yeah. And it's got doors that close when you push the button. It's amazingly fast, amazingly efficient for a hydraulic lift. This is the best hydraulic lift I've ever been in. Now into Checker's Mouth.
that building is a pizza hut but it looks like it's closed. And now let's go upstairs. There are all the escalators here. Excuse me. a long travelly bit that's at the end of the escalator. I like that. In the middle. This is the car park. It's a mud no day because they haven't replaced the motors. They replaced the lift cars and it appears that they haven't replaced the logic, although I'm not sure. Two. They appear to have replaced they have replaced everything, but they don't appear to have replaced the logic. They haven't ever replaced the motor. They don't appear to have replaced the logic. Unusual. And actually I think they haven't placed the lift car because that would be where old Otis Bath would be and that would be where this indicator would be. There was absolutely no reason to get rid of the Otis Bath. Then I eat some noodles from a shop called Chopsticks, which actually doesn't sell chopsticks. And now on to BHS, which has some old unmodernised Otis's. They kept the original lift car. First floor. And the indicator actually works. And they've kept the original logic. I like those old Otis indicators where they where there are where the floor name or letters and numbers are engraved in something. The light appears to be in between on and off, and so is the door hold. This door's got phone, so I'm not allowed to get out. This like really doesn't like being semi on, it's flickering loads. And let's do a door test, not an alarm test though. That would be too daring. It's gone ding! Oh, actually, I want to get out. Sorry. Oh, dear, sorry. Just push round and that lift door will close. Thank you very much. I like this Ornstein and Koppel escalator, and here's why. It's got a long travelator section. This makes me think that you could have escalators where there's a travelator section at the floor and then it just continues up so we will get on and off the travelator on the side so you don't have to change to a different escalator to continue up. 
So I like that. Now we're out on the car park. I'm going to do a specially tall section. Alfa Romeos have their number plate on the side and I think that the number plate on an Alfa Romeo actually ruins the overall effect. And that goes to the other lift. Or I'm going to go to the top floor. This lift, which is the one with the basement, but now it's been modified so that the basement is now locked off. Slow. Oh, it appears this lift. No, oh, we're not. We're not. Someone's holding the doors. top floor. This is it. Half the lifts are broken, only three are working, and they've got poor quality Jew Hurst. The basement, I'm going to one. Doors closing. This is an Otis Door lift. seven. A lot of being replaced by Dewhurst. Floor six. On this lift, the number buttons also act as the doors close buttons. I like it when lifts are like that. Doors open. Going down. Doors closing. Doors opening. Going down. Doors closing. What floor do you want? Uh, one place. Yeah. Floor four. Floor four. Doors open. Going down. Doors closed. Floor 
one. Doors open. Vintage Poundland sign. Ooh, I wonder how good their toilets are going to be. You have got to be kidding. Portaloos! Stands are 8, this is platform H, and they're H5, we'll go down to H1, which is... Oh, narrow escalators, excuse me. They're not very narrow, I can't This lift is broken. That bridge is in the council centre. I really want to go up there, it looks so awesome, but it's closed! It has this and crap escalators, and it might even have a futuristic this and crap in there somewhere. I really want to go up there. It's closed. My house key is made by an automatic door company. Starbucks as a platform lift. I quite like some like some platform lift. And now on to Marks and Spencer. It's a boring shop, except for the automatic door. So you know that's a place. unusual area and there's a church the church has been horribly modernized anyway now on to fremlin walk where they have a fake tram is it really a tram well it says it's a tram but look at the wheels it's got shopping trolley wheels yeah. Lift going down. Please mind the doors. This is a hydraulic lift. It's a generic. It actually takes a long time to start, but when it starts off, it actually goes quite fast for a generic hydraulic. Ground floor. Nowhere near as far. And then it levels really slowly. It, it goes. Doors it goes are opening. Nowhere near as fast as the ones. At the bank. This is a stanner lift. It goes between Top Shop and Top Man. And it calls itself Land and Minus One. Lift going down. This is from the era when Stanner made some not not terrible lifts, but not good. Level minus one. And they were obsessed with chimes. So blah, 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 blah. And ah, uh, okay. of different chimes. They're obsessed with chimes. Should have what they should have done made this an indicator. So only one of them lit up, and the one that lit up was the floor that the lift was at. That's what they should have done. I pushed the button and the lift. Of course it levels round and one. Has it gone below the ground floor? Mind 
Oakland. This is the worst lift. Many shops in the western part of the shopping centre follow a silly floor numbering system because House of Fraser has that floor numbering system and so they copied House of Fraser. The floor numbering system goes from top to bottom 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What it should be is 1, upper ground, lower ground, minus 1, minus 2. Gen 2. Going. What? Closing. It calls the floors three and four, and then above that stick is saying minus one and zero. And the indicator calls them minus one and zero. That makes no sense. Why would there be three and four? Doors closing. Ace elevators. In town centres, Otis enters. Waterstone doesn't have old lifts. The one in this town centre used to have an old. I think it was Pickering's, but now that one's closed down, and they, they moved Level it to here. Zero. This floor numbering calls the floors ground and one. I call them lower ground and upper ground. JD Sports has an old town European style swing door lift. Doors open, there's nothing. This is an old European style lift. The indicator doesn't work. Got these buttons. I see some generic buttons that are not Dewhurst because Dewhurst is very common. And this is a European style hydraulic swing door lift. Very slow. And you might think it's a platform lift. And what it is, it has to charge up while it's going up. So if somebody pushed one while the lift was on while the lift was at the ground floor and it didn't go, then people would get confused because you have to push and hold the button. Leonardo, Leonardo, oh, he's cool. Top floor. Yeah, he's fine. Right, wait here, right, can you walk with me? Because we've got that, don't touch anything. The lift's in nudge mode now. This is an Asus Gen 2 in nudge mode. The lift at this shop go into nudge mode really quickly. Which is weird. And they go really fast. They're Otis 2000s, not Gen 2s. The Otis 2000s go, go really fast and sometimes they're a bit rattly and they're really fun. Otis Gen 2s are just not the same. These are have silly floor numbering. Upper ground is 4, lower ground is 3, and there's 2 and 1 and 5, which is a bad numbering system. Here are some more Otis's. With the vandal resistant buttons, yuck. Is it telling me another Gen 2? It's like a Gen 2 because it's slow. It's, it's stopped. Two thousand is faster. <laughs> Lowest level. These are Otis lists, and no one Otis Gen Two. I prefer the Otis two thousand. The Otis Gen Two uses a belt drive on. The, the Gen Two uses a belt drive on the outside. The Otis two thousand is a conventional traction lift. Gentle 
and the ocean snakes are really nice there, you can go very fast. And now on to the Maidstone and Brenchley Museum. Really old opta. Let's go into the museum. Locked. The lift in the museum is a generic hydraulic The Maidstone and Brenchley Museum has an observation tower, but it's just used as a fire exit and all the doors are alarmed. What a waste! From this angle, Maidstone East Station looks like a terminus. This is the Sessions Building, the Parliament Building of Kent, but it's closed. I really feel that local government have let me down today. Noisy flagpoles. That's not a train, that's the end of the tunnel, if you can see that light. I can't on the camera screen. There's that track which goes off the bathroom, which is top runaway trains. And for some reason they have another track which goes in the middle of the other tracks. And if we look along here, follow this track right to the end. And then at the end of the platform, you can see it rejoin onto the other track and what that means is that they could use that track to terminate trains at Maidstone East Station but in, but the train like if the line was closed east of here the trains would arrive but this station would be arrivals only so you could go there turn around then go on the middle track so this station would be for people getting off trains only you can't get on. And here, if you look over there, is a is the bridge, another set of points to derail um, trains that are run away, um, which is pretty useless because if you think about it, um, because if you think about it, Run, you wouldn't know a train was a runaway train by the time it reached that point on the platform and it was very short um, but it's really because there's, there's, it's quite a long way to the next crossover they could use this platform to terminate trains but it's quite a long way to the next crossover and, and this platform I quite like how this platform diverges from the main line with a wide area. This platform until recently, it was rarely used anyway, but until recently it was not electrified, diesel only. So this is where all the TX4s have gone to. If you go around Heathrow Airport area you see loads of Mercedes-Benz Vito taxis which are horrible. They're just vans but they've replaced the windows with tinted, they replaced the panels with tinted glass and they put seats in. So it's, real, it's really a van that's just been converted into a taxi, it's horrible. But here they have lovely old 
um, LTC TX4s. Um, and I'm not sure, they might actually be London taxis. No, H22. Yeah, but this bit belongs to Maiden Borough Council. H22 is actually not a valid um, London thing. London thing is a five digit number. Here they have, here it's a letter and then a two digit number, which is not enough combinations for all the taxis in London. The Kent Air Ambulance Explorer. Back at Clabham Junction, Southwest Trains U2 Recycle. That doesn't make any sense. This Class 455 really is going to Reading. That's ridiculous! The Class 455 is going to Reading? An express... The, the express to Reading is Class 455. I've never seen that before, and it's ridiculous. And the doors aren't working. Oh good. Here's my train, and it's a long train. 